Princess and is the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II and the sister of King Charles III. The Princess Royal has lived a rather eventful life, and even now in her 70s she's one of the hardest working members of the royal family. Almost every year she beats the rest of the royals with the number of engagements she attends and public duties she performs. Despite that, and has remained one of the lesser known members of the family, and many aren't aware of her story or her dedication. The birth of Princess Anne, Princess Anne was born on August 15, 1950, which happened to be VJ Day in the United Kingdom, marking the end of World War II. Her full name is an Elizabeth Alice Louise. The line of succession, when and was born, she was second in line to the throne after Charles. She is now 14th in line to the throne since the births of the most recent royal babies. Her love of horses, Queen Elizabeth was a well-known animal lover and had a particular interest in horses. Prince Philip was also a skilled polo player. It's not a surprise then that princess and picked up these traits from her parents and became a keen equestrian. A sturdy princess, princess and was a tough kid and took the many bumps and bruises that came with her sporty lifestyle in stride. She suffered several broken limbs throughout her youth, but never lost her love for equestrian sports. Aptitude for sports and began professional training at a very young age, which continued at her private boarding school. She first appeared in competitions at the age of 11, and had a number of early victories. The Royal Olympian, she was the first royal ever to be selected for an Olympic team. Princess and joined the British equestrian team for the 1976 Olympics in Montreal. The fall, unfortunately, the team did not place at the Montreal Games and and suffered a fall during one of the events. The Queen and her family were in attendance and were seen pushing towards the front to get a better look despite the protests of their nervous bodyguards. Getting back on the horse, Princess and showed her trademark strength and perseverance by getting back on her horse and finishing the course after her fall. It was later found that she had suffered a concussion. Captain Mark Phillips, it was through her Olympic horse riding career that Anne met her first husband, Captain Mark Phillips. Phillips was also a member of the Olympic equestrian team. The royal wedding, the pair got married at Westminster Abbey in 1973, the same location as Prince William and Kate Middleton. The event was televised and viewed by over 500 million people around the world. This was the most watched wedding in the royal family at the time. The Queen Mary Fringe Tiara, Princess and wore the Queen Mary Fringe Tiara on her wedding day. It was also worn by Queen Elizabeth when she married Prince Philip in 1947. Later it would be worn by Princess Beatrice at her wedding in 2020. Public Affairs, Princess and and Mark Phillips had two children together, but unfortunately they did not have a happy marriage. There were rumors of infidelity, and it's alleged that Phillips carried on rather public affairs. He's said to have dated a British television anchorwoman, a Canadian public relations executive, and an Indian call girl. Eventual divorce, Phillips denied rumors that he had a child with another woman while married to Princess Anne, but in 1991 DNA test results proved that it was true. The couple divorced in 1992, but had already been separated for three years. Timothy Lawrence, a few months after her divorce from Mark Phillips, and married her current husband, Timothy Lawrence. The couple were married in a quiet ceremony in Scotland. The location of their wedding was the result of a Church of England law that stated a divorced person cannot marry in England if their ex-spouse is still alive. Princess Anne's Love Life Netflix's The Crown alludes to a rather bizarre love quadrangle involving Princess Anne. Anne dated Andrew Parker Bowles for a short period when she was around 20 years old. Parker Bowles would go on to marry Camilla, the woman Prince Charles is now married to and who he famously carried on a relationship with during his marriage to Diana. Talk about family drama. The rude princess, the straight-talking, no-nonsense character we see on the crown seems to be pretty true to the real Princess Anne. In the past, she's been labeled rude because she doesn't have much patience for photo opportunities and doesn't shake hands with the public. Rude, or practical, she explained her reasons for this in a 2018 documentary called Queen of the World and was initially advised not to start shaking hands with the crowds because it would be impossible to shake everyone's hand. Unlike other royals, she stuck to this advice because it seemed perfectly reasonable. 
and and Diana, royal biographers suggest that Princess and did not see eye to eye with Princess Diana. Princess and had a strong sense of duty and was extremely dedicated to her work as a royal. She's quoted as saying that Diana was a silly girl and reportedly disapproved of the way she handled her royal duties and public image. The attempted kidnapping, there's one particular incident that shows just how tough an is. In 1974, Princess and fell victim to an attempted kidnapping while being driven on a public street close to Buckingham Palace. A man with two guns ambushed her car and ended up shooting two policemen, the driver, and a nearby journalist. The attempted kidnapping, the kidnapper opened the door and told Princess and to come with him. As in describes it, they had a polite but tedious debate about whether or not she would comply with his request. The kidnapper had shot anyone who tried to escape or intervene, but Princess and calmly managed the situation and avoided injury or capture until the police arrived. Don't mess with and, it was later revealed that the man in question was a 26-year-old with mental health issues who had intended to kidnap Princess and and ransom her for a large sum. And is now famously quoted as having said not bloody likely when he initially ordered her out of the car. Princess and goes viral, Princess and became an internet sensation in 2019 when she was recorded apparently snubbing her mother and US President Donald Trump. The royal family were greeting the president and his wife on their visit to Buckingham Palace and the queen was seen gesturing to and to come forward to meet them. And was seen shrugging her shoulders and ignoring the queen's request. The busiest royal, even those who don't know much about princess and may have heard that she's the busiest or hardest working member of the royal family. In addition to raising her two children and her career as a professional horse rider, and is extremely dedicated to her royal duties. Royal duties, Princess and entered public life when she was 18 years old. She became a full-time senior royal and began to fulfill her abundant duties. It's said that and is involved in over 300 charity organizations, holds positions in the military, and takes part in numerous sporting associations. Olympic positions, Princess and has been president of the British Olympic Association and is also a member of the International Olympic Committee. Charity work, the Princess is President of Save the Children UK, Commandant-in-Chief of St. John Ambulance, and Chancellor of four universities. She created multiple charities including Carer Trust, Transed, and Riders for Health. Military Positions, Princess and is a General of the Royal Navy and an Air Chief Marshal of the Royal Air Force. She holds almost 30 other military titles in the UK, New Zealand, Australia, and Canada. Impressive Commitment, it's no surprise that Princess and is a busy woman. In 2017, she attended 540 public engagements in the UK and abroad, more than any other member of the royal family. The hardest working royal, even in the year 2020, when the UK was mostly under strict confinement due to the pandemic, Princess and managed to attend 148 official engagements. Again, this was more than any other royal. While Princess and may not make it into the headlines very often, it's clear that she is fiercely hardworking and dedicated to her royal duties.